Right, guys, it is <clears throat> November 25th. It's about five more days till they release the Cybertruck. Anyway, <clears throat> of course you guys know I have a skid steer and I do everything with mini skids. So you cannot never have enough accessories for your mini skid, even if you have duplicates. So <clears throat> I bought some more duplicates and you've probably seen these before, but I'm gonna open them again. Um, <clears throat> they just came in today or yesterday, I guess, or this morning. So, what do we have here? If I can, <laughs> it's not flicking out. I keep blocking it with my finger. There we go. All right. Technical difficulties, but <clears throat> like I said before. I've got too many skids. I sold my other one. I had three of them. But I'd like to get another one. You can never have too many tools to do your job. And I started off with dingoes, Toro dingoes. And then I went through a bunch of different mini skids. Um, how this opens here I'm just gonna cut the top off I guess I guess that's just as good as any oh maybe not I really pack this thing pretty good Tried Vermeer, tried Bobcat. Look how well they packaged this thing, man. They packaged it really well. It's funny, the stuff that can't break or can never break, they packaged the shit out of it. <laughs> like you couldn't break this or dent this if you tried. I mean, it is just overpacked. Oh, and I'm getting a a log splitter attachment very soon, so that should be coming in the mail here in a few days. And that's the reason I got an additional attachment plate because the attachment is on the end, and I want to put it on the side as well. This is one of my favorite attachments that we use on the daily and I already have two or three of these but they're on sale Black Friday so I bought another one <clears throat> I might even buy another one too because they're 92 bucks now if you get them for the Black Friday sale this is the attachment <clears throat> for I don't have a there's no packing slip that I can tell. So I'm just going to have to leave a link in the description. But this makes your mini skid able to move mountains. <laughs> we used to have a 10,000 pound chipper. Um, it was a Vermeer 1800. And we struggled moving it with the skid steer because we just had... Uh, we cut a couple holes in the top of the bucket and we put a couple balls <coughs> two inch balls on the top of the bucket and we would just basically pick up on the front of the chipper and try to move it around and a lot of times you're okay when you're pushing it but when you're pulling it it would just it'd be too heavy for it so once I switched over to this took the bucket off and then Put one of these on here it makes a huge difference because not only are you eliminating the weight of your bucket it's so close to the machine and you put a ball right here that's the closer the better <clears throat> you could even probably weld one on top if you really wanted to but as long as you have a short 
piece that comes in with a ball on it, you'd be amazed what your mini skid can do. Like you can pick up, <clears throat> you know, I mean, you figure if you can move around a 10,000 pound chipper with ease, you can almost move anything, especially if it has tandem axles. You can, I mean, as long as you can, you can push a lot more than you can pull, but these things are awesome and they're well worth the money. You can build them, but you're gonna end up spending about the same money or more and then you gotta paint them and then the best thing to do is powder coat them, but you really don't have to just because they're rusty. <laughs> they still work They still work the same and the metal's so thick that you pretty much uh, last, you know, last a lifetime. But we have them everywhere and the reason I have so many is because a lot of times you'll forget where you put them so they're everywhere i put one in the truck one in the trailer uh in a couple different places and then also too i when i switched over to the military style hitches i have all these um hitches with balls on them that i don't use there's like a whole pile of them so every time i buy one of these and i just weld it another thing you can do is <laughs> weld them in here because a lot of times what will happen is you have the perfect setup and you'll bolt it in and then somebody will need it and they'll unbolt it and not put it back. So I usually have Tony just weld the shit out of it, weld it up so it's permanent so nobody can take it out. I mean, you can't take it out unless you cut it out, but that way, no matter what, once you grab it, you know that it has a ball on it and you don't have to worry about someone stealing it or uh, using it and not putting it back. So that's what I'd recommend if you have a shop and a bunch of guys running around doing whatever they want and they don't put shit back, weld it together. Even if you have one or two guys, for some reason, people like to take shit apart and don't put it back. I've been doing this shit for over 20 years and it's the same thing. People never teach them to put shit back and still have the problem this day. Like you go to get something and they take it apart. So anyway, that's my spiel. But if you guys get one of these, if you can weld it together and then you'll and get two or three of them. Because I guarantee you, these things are worth their weight in gold. Once you use one and you move shit around with it, and they're only like 30 pounds. So you can physically just pick them up, throw them, put one in your truck, put one in the trailer, put a couple in your shop. Um, we only have an acre shop, but it seems like, and then paint them a bright color. Like I paint one yellow, one red, one orange, one blue, and then you can have different um, uh, you know hitch assessments on it you can have like a high one a low one a long one and then that way you can just grab whichever one you want and uh, I like also one with a that picks up a little bit because when you're on the skid steer it's hard to see so if you have one that comes up and like me comes up and out you can look over and get, grab your trailer very easily um, <clears throat> without too much trouble you, your vision's a lot better if they're higher like an offset offset up and out so it's like here's the top of the um attachment and then your balls up here that seems to be my favorite one so anyway that's all i have i'll leave a link in the description get yourself one i guarantee you'll buy two or three more later